Hello guys and gals, if is F1 backwards here, back with another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this one we are getting everything possible in the excellent A Plague Tale Innocence and this game truly is something else phenomenal. This was developed by Asobo Studios, published by Focus Home Interactive and usually would be available to you for $44.99 but if you have Xbox Game Pass you can download it from there right now. Bargain, so get it while the getting's good. Now this is a sort of action adventure game with slight horror but a lot of stealth elements to it and it follows you playing Amicia Darum, a 15 year old girl whose estate starts showing signs of plague, gets attacked by English soldiers and from there a pretty big adventure with her 5 year old brother Hugo who has an unknown illness but is what the English soldiers are after. But not only does this game have just pure action and stealth to it, there are also puzzle solving elements and the epicness that is the story. Now the achievements are pretty much straightforward as well, you get 16 for completing each chapter and 1 for finishing the game, 10 are miscellaneous for each specific chapter and 5 are collectible related which we will be grabbing all 50 collectibles and the other 3 are for fully upgrading your sling. Now a load of items are obvious as we search for them but a lot you need to do quite a bit of searching throughout each level as well as some are pretty much out of the way and then one for crafting 100 ammo which is easy enough. And just as we start to begin here um, I'm just saving time on the video and avoiding any spoilers in case you want to watch them yourself but I will be skipping all cutscenes but I honestly urge you to watch them and listen to the conversations that are had as you will get really interested and emotionally invested with the characters throughout the story. So that about covers all the basics then, I'll get into various things in the game, sort of weapons and powers etc as we get into them, but for now let us begin. And we are here at chapter 1 following our dad through the wood. This is sort of a, again, you know, your sort of tutorial level. Um, so it'll teach you sort of all about shooting, uh, how to do that. It, it, Amicia basically has a sling that she uses throughout the entire game. So it'll be uh, just left trigger. It's your normal sort of left trigger to aim and then right trigger to shoot. So that's easy enough. And then just sort of, uh, just sort of the button prompt and commands you'll be needing to use throughout the game. Such authority, Knight Darun. Go! I'll bring something back for once. Right. As I was saying, we all have obligations. I have to manage these lands. Your mother has to take care of your brother. And you... And I hardly ever see you. I see mother even less. Listen. We're here for you now. So... Follow me, daughter. Hey, wait! <laughs> I hope you have your sling. Of course. Come on, then. <laughs> Do you dare to enter the trial's gate? Amicia de Rune fears nothing. This apple tree was planted when you... So this is where we will start learning to practice our aiming and shooting. Again, like I said, it's all very easy enough. And... Again, this this will be where you can sort of learn about items. Like I said, there's a lot of things we'll be needing to craft to upgrade our sling, to craft ammo, etc. And there are just a ton of items, such as saltpeter and you know cloth, fabric, leather, all types of items we need to collect to obviously craft them up. Our main bit of ammunition will be right here, rock. So press Y to pick up any items and things like that. And again, easy, easy enough then, so it doesn't matter if you do miss one or two or whatever, it, you, you know, you can't fail on this point at all. But obviously hold, what you'll have to do is hold the right trigger, and then if you just blindly, if you just click the right trigger once, it will obviously go absolutely flying everywhere. So hold the right trigger until the uh, whiter edges get hit the green bit, and then you should be good to go. And this is how Amicia becomes a true knight. Nine and ten. Well, well. I must say I'm impressed. But your sling is frightfully noisy. It was a present <laughs> from you. Oh, yes. I'd quite forgotten. Goodness, what's up with him? 
So again, easy enough this point, we're just following our dog here, but what I'll try to do throughout the game is, I mean, there's a lot of dialogue that happens between characters, and rightly so, since there's a lot of plague and stuff going on about. Um, but yeah, I, I'll try and not talk over the, the dialogue and things like that, because as I said, you know, the story's really interesting, and it, it does get you really emotionally invested, even if it can piss you off sometimes, and it can, so that's not even a spoiler. But uh, yeah, you'll just you'll notice, you'll you'll see, you'll absolutely see. So again, few little di um, a few little options coming up. Press right trigger to sprint. Uh, it'll be X for crouching. Press A to get over things. All easy enough. So whenever you see an item, obviously throughout the entire game, all I'll be looking out for is items. But if you do see one that I miss or whatever, just make sure to pick every item up. And now we are going to be practicing our shooting on a wild animal. Peter, don't, don't go getting involved with this. You know, sorry to anyone who loves animals, but this is what you had to do in the 1300s. So this is, again, another sort of tutorial bit. So tall grass like this will hide you somehow. The pig will run away at this point, and that's fine. But if there's any enemies that you can that either spot you or whatever throughout the game, hide in a bit of tall grass, and for some reason they forget that you were ever there. Kind of like the Metal Gear Solid 1 sort of enemies. Like, oh, you hid around the corner? <laughs> Happy days. I didn't see you. Again, just be careful at this point. Obviously, nothing will hurt you, but, you know, you just want to kill... You just want to get some bacon down your throat a lot quicker than you have to, don't you? Does hunger always make you this accurate? <laughs> but the feast isn't on your plate quite no, no. yet. No, 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 Go, Leon. Don't lose the scent. Don't right, so again, just chase after the pig here. Some weird things will start happening. But with the um, diamond shape uh, on top of the enemy's heads there, as you've seen with the pig, if the... If it starts going white, that means the enemy has spotted something and he will come over and investigate so you can hide around the corner or whatever. Obviously, if it turns completely red, that means he knows you're there and he's going to chase after you. But again, you can actually hide and the enemy will disappear. In Not in every situation, of course, but in certain situations. But obviously, just be aware. Again, you will obviously just get used to this as you play more throughout the game. So now we are after our, our dog, um, Lion. I know he, I know she's French and, you know, he's called Leon. But in Britain and pretty much, I'm sure, everywhere else along the world, Leon is L-E-O-N. But, you know, that's... I'm sorry. Sorry to all the French. But to me, that's Lion. And that's still a hell of a name for a dog, though. So, you know, not all bad. Yeah, sorry about that. Had to keep that scene in. Uh, yeah, so it's already pretty intense. I'm pretty upset in straight away <laughs> with your dog there. That's uh, whoever's a dog lover. That that hit me pretty hard as well. So yeah, what a cracking start. Uh, so you don't have to pet this horse if you don't want to. This is just you know having a feel for the game, just uh, sort of walking around. Theo, there's an emergency. Get the others and go and see my father as soon as you can. All right. All right. 
Uh, by the way, I I've set up some targets for your sling behind the stables. Oh, thank you. So once you're done talking to Theo then, just go into this little bit of barn here, climb the ladder by pressing Y, and we will be getting our first collectible out of 50. And with there it, you you'll I always tell when it's a collectible with. because it'll have that different bit of symbol on it there. So with this one, it's a gift. So we need uh, to collect 11 gifts, 13 flowers, and 26 curiosities, which will take us right up to the end chapter of the game. So that is your first one there. So now just head down, we will be going for our first achievement of the game as well, and that is for just doing a bit more practice shooting with your sling, which you, you know, we will need anyway, it's going to be one of the main functions of the game, so you might as well get a little bit of practice in, and you might as well get your first achievement here. So, all you got to do then, pick up the rocks first, obviously, because you're going to need rocks to hurl at these pots. Go ahead, stand behind these sort of um, marked sort of bits of wood there. I don't think it really matters where you stand. And just, just take your time. As you'll see, it'll sort of, with each sort of pot or with each enemy that you go to, it sort of uh, directs you a little bit towards it rather than having to do it completely manually, which is always a good help as well. And if you run with rocks, there's another just pile there, which I should have got in the first place, but it's all good. Literally makes no difference. So just stand back, hit all the pots, get them all done. Doesn't matter if you miss one anyway. And that will be our first achievement unlocked. More practice. So pick up the next bunch of rocks before you go. And now we can nip off. Whatever did this to you. Those new rivets will have to wait. By the way, any news about the town? English, go and bite people. I don't know, to keep us off balance. Oh, Lady Amicia, did you have a good walk? Later, Floor. Tell the others that the forest is out of bounds until further notice. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll tell them. Sancti Sebastiani, keep us from evil. May you forever grant us health and keep plague from our door. You know, obviously, if you don't want to be polite and listen to people's conversations, you don't have to. Again, it is interesting to see what people have to say, but if you just rather crack on, then, you know, nobody's stopping you. Even if he was a bit naughty sometimes. Goodbye, my darling dog. Actually, I know this is a 100% achievement guide, but at this point I thought, oh, should I keep every cutscene in and speak to every conversation? But honestly, that would have taken the video past like eight, eight and a half hours. So I thought, again, it's up to you. I've ended up completely just going, you know, up your guts. I'm out of here. Sorry. I know there's a play going on and everyone's scared, but hmm. Be in a good mood. Did you hear what happened at the village? People being bitten. Kids too, can you imagine? Each time it happens at night? Famine, war... Yes, hello, milady. Hello. Once you're finally done standing there, politely listen to her. Again, you don't have to, you can just carry on. Go through the door to the left, climb up the ladder first, and we'll be getting our second collectible. Turn around here, there's only one really... Uh, there's only one path to go up here anyway and we will be getting our first curiosity of the game out of 26 they were right to hide it father would put it in every dish so then let's turn back around go back down the ladder you can go and talk to the woman who's uh, cooking up a bit of brewski there can do if you want i end up doing anyway again this was just a you know sort of first chapter just getting a feel for the game having a few conversations with everyone but like i said you can just easily blast on past if that's what you'd rather do or 
you know, I'm, I'm actually going to stop saying that every time we enter a conversation with someone, okay? That was the last time I said that. So from there, then, we can head out um, back the way we came and straight out, straight through the other side of the house now, because we will be going to see our mother and little Hugo, who is going to be a little bit of a crybaby adversary. I mean, he is only five, so, you know, that's pretty understandable for the first half of the game. Have you been to see Mother? Indeed. Um, do you do you want to see her? It's important. Father's orders. Oh, in that case, sir, I have to finish your room. By the way, I've left a little something for you on your bed. Come and see if you like. Ah, thank you. Yeah, so just follow this Mother Teresa looking mofo here. She starts cleaning, doesn't matter. On the right, on the bed will be your second curiosity out of 26, a tablecloth. You're welcome, sweetness. Look after it now. Oh, Leo. What am I going to do here without you? So just simply exit the room now, and we will be heading to the right, then directly to the left, to open up another cutscene here, where we meet your ma. Obviously you don't see her on screen, but I promise you that is who you meet. So we'll just be going through the next couple of doors to meet our brother Hugo for the first time, who has the unknown illness that your mother's trying to cure. Because she's a good egg like that. Has he been here? Four years? Five? Come and see. Where is he? Hugo? It, it's me. Y your sister? Amicia? Hello. We we haven't seen each other much. Mummy will be back soon. Move. Come on. So then the estate's been attacked and now we are going through our first bit of stealth. Now press down on the D-pad if you want Hugo to stay or Hugo to follow. Obviously, you know, the majority of the game you'll be keeping him with you, so there's not many times you'll need him to stay on his own. So don't worry about the guard in this room. He won't be looking anywhere. And what you'll find in this game is the guards can be a little bit stupid. All you have to do is look to the left there and he would have caught you, but I mean, maybe the plays already get into the brains of everyone. But uh, yeah, you can see what happens to the fate of her. Gabriella. Whoops. Yeah, she got stabbed. It's just like a night in London, that though, isn't it? Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, anyway, just move on through the doors. Wait for this guy to... Yeah, a bit tricky, like. I'm begging you. Hugo's not here. So we'll just wait for this guy to walk off. Ah, they're all freaking hard in their armor, aren't they? But as we see a bit, a little bit later on, no, they won't be. So he won't be uh, looking around. He won't turn around. He'll just be kicking the crap out of someone else. So slowly just walk down the stairs. Obviously, don't press X to get up and run away again, because, well, you'll be caught and... Um, one thing that Amicia hasn't got is anything good, so if an enemy catches you, you will die uh, straight away. There's no armor, there's no health regeneration, you just die. So down here now, this is all we're doing then. As the guards are attacking everyone else, you just wait for them to sort of look at something else and crawl through. Again, no need to worry about the guards at this point. They're not going to turn around, so you're all good. But you see just on the screen, that on the right-hand side and at the bottom now, there are like two tiny white marks. That's basically telling you where enemies are. So if you're ever sort of stuck and you, you, you're a bit concerned or a bit confused where enemies are, that little tracker on the, well, any point on the screen, that'll tell you where they are. But only when you see the sort of diamond above the head or whatever going red that's when you know you've been caught so now we escape but 
Well, our mother comes to a rescue. I tell you what, she is. She's too kind to us. So now th there is a. B this is a bit of a long section having to escape the garden. I mean, the Darums have got a big freaking garden, but that's what you get when you're rich and powerful, I suppose. I wouldn't know. <laughs> so head to the left and in straight into the white grass. Apparently, none of the guards can hear a, a, a loud whisper, which is always good and handy for us. And they can't see any of the grass moving, even though the grass is clearly moving with heads bobbing up and down on it. But that's the beauty of video games, I tell you. Yes, the little one loves flowers. I used to take him some flowers. You're good to go at this point. As soon as your mother moves, you know you'll be good to move as well. They're like family to me. You get nothing out of me. Go to hell. Oh yeah, you first. Have a little think, and I'll come back later. And you, don't die without talking to me first. The bastards. Cowards. Oh, we have to get through. You're Lisa, breaking my help him. You know, I'll carry you. You're mad right. Give All right, be careful getting down. Yes. But Robert the Rune doesn't like this. Boy and a bunch Even of peasants. Got the How long cause. can it take? Go on. Hell, Look out. They'll see us. We have to get further away. If I can hit the helmets in the crates over there, your sling will give us away. I can throw it instead. And this will be another prominent feature throughout the game as well, distracting the enemies, which will come in handy for a lot of situations rather than just slinging rocks in the head. So what you've got to do then is a couple of rocks behind you. You Now where you press left trigger, to get the sling, all you got to do is press the left bumper and then the right trigger, and that will keep you crouched and you'll be thrown as well. So once the guard gets distracted and nips on over there, you can carry on. Like I showed you. What's wrong with him? His illness has awoken. We need to go faster. So, the boy? He's hiding, but Lord Nicholas is tracking him. So again, same thing here. Go and pick up the rocks. Anytime you see some items, go and pick them up. Left bumper and then right trigger to throw and distract. Obviously, the only time you know you'll hit something is when the uh, reticule turns green. Let's just go ahead and keep following Yama there. We can't go, Mother. Maybe by throwing. So then, if you haven't got anything to throw rocks at, go ahead, um, pick up a pot with Y, press the right bumper to bring up the selection wheel, which we'll be doing again a lot throughout the throughout the game. And just like with the rocks, uh, left bumper and then right trigger to throw. Get it as far away as you can in the opposite direction. And once again, you will be good to go. Oh, no, no, no. Stay calm. Hold my hand tight. Oh, it's locked from the other side. Mother, the hole in the wall. I know you're scared, but if you get through there, you can open the door for us. You're the only one who can do it. What's behind there? Just concentrate on the door. You're a brave boy. You prove it to me every day. Amicia is going to let go of your hand. Then you can quickly go through, all right? All right. Be strong. Well done, Hugo boy. You're a man. More of a man than I am. I can tell you that much. Slowly. Oh, mother, we can't stay. 
him a little time. Are you right, Hugo? I, I think so. So, let's continue. Courage, my darling. It's okay, Hugo. Yes. There you go. Mm, thank you. We can go now. It's too risky with Hugo. He's slower than us. There are bots over there. I could cross, make a diversion. Alone? Yes, you'd have more time. I can let you know when it's all right. Be very careful. So then, timing's a little bit important here, it's not too bad. As soon as he turns around, hop over the wall by pressing A. Get into the left side of the big tall grass right there. And again, we'll just have to wait. Get your pot ready though. Throw that, and that should distract him. As soon as he starts walking over there, tell, uh, press the down on the D-pad to tell your brother and mother to nip on over and grab a pot on your way out. Easy stuff so far, right? Easy. But it's going to get it even. It's, this game is going to get even more a lot better. That sentence was just absolute crap English in my native speaking language, but you, you get what I mean. Be very careful. The garden gate. We should be able to get out of here. There's one guard left. And actually, at this point, you'll see just how dumb the enemies can be in this game. So get a couple of rocks. What you'll need to do is press the left bumper and then the right trigger to distract him. I accidentally pressed the left trigger to get up my sling. He actually sees me pop out, but does nothing about it. So, yeah. There it is. He literally see me. He, he see me pop out. He knows who he's looking for, but apparently that's fine. But <laughs> So, that just gives a little indication of how dumb some of these enemies can be in the game. So, again... He'll be distracted by that. The second he turns around, you'll be able to crawl up to the right-hand side up a couple of steps there. Go away. Get out of here. Now. <sighs> ah, you're alive. This way. This way. Follow me. Oof, no mother with us at this point. I can guess you assume you knows what happened to her. So just run where I run. There's only really one pathway to take though, so again, shouldn't be too hard. And the checkpoint system is quite generous in this game, so if you do get caught or whatever, you don't start from too far back. But don't stop for anything, obviously. And there we have it then, so chapter one is done, that's quite a pretty, uh, the thing I love, that was a very intense opening chapter, which I really enjoyed, so it sort of sets you up for what's to come for the rest of the game, which is really enjoyable as well. So now then, what we'll need to be doing is just getting help basically, but now we'll start exploring each level a little bit more, and the first thing we will be doing is heading to the right in just a moment. Yes, of course. Just before you get to the big courtyard bit then, go behind this stall right here, uh, through a couple of trees, and we will be getting a couple of items, etc, etc. This is what we'll be doing throughout the entire game, and there's also a gift right there. 
So that is gift number two out of 11, which is always handy. You can always press the uh, select button to have a check on some information about it if you want to. I'll be doing that throughout the game just to make sure that you're all caught up. But don't touch them. They're all rotten. But I'm hungry. How can you think of food right now? Smoke. There must be a lot of people. Excuse me, please wait. Madam? What's the matter with them? They look scared. Excuse me, I'm the daughter of Lord Robert Darun. We were attacked, we need help. Please, it's very cold. Anybody there? I'm with my little brother. The Darun estate was attacked. I'm begging you, please help us. Can you open the door? We're wet and hungry. What on earth is going on? So yeah, you can bang on a couple of doors if you want. You can make threats. You can threaten to burn them or whatever, but nothing will happen. So just go to this sort of little area right here. And you'll see just a couple of rocks there. Again, we'll be picking up. Nobody will want to help you. Because uh, you are diseased. Well, you're not diseased, but they think you're diseased. Which is always good. So go, just go back the way you came. So to the right of where you came then. And then we'll be heading back down the little steps here. And going towards the left. Go ahead, go over the bridge and far away to a magical place. It's called Toys R Us. Sorry, uh, wrong advert. Go to the right here. Don't go up the steps yet. There's a uh, couple of rocks if you need them here, just to the right in this little, again, this other little area. What has got into you all? And once that guy's done being a dick, just head towards the right, and on this little uh, stool here will be another curiosity. And that is another um, collectible we've picked up there. And also, there are tons of these like little areas that we'll need to be having a look at, searching throughout each level completely, just to be looking for items, as I said earlier, to be upgrading our slings, equipment, and things like that. So, if you think it's just worth exploring absolutely everything before you uh, head on through the story, just do that. more serious than that. It means that we could catch their illness, so stop running around. All right, sorry. Things as they are at the moment. I suppose so. Oh, thank you. So from this point then, just turn to the right and then carry on straight as you would normally. Uh, there's only one path to go until you get to a cutscene. I can smell something cooking. Is it fair? Doesn't sound like a fair. <gasps> Good Lord. Ooh, creepy boy. Right, now we gotta run then. So just run this. This bit's easy enough, just to follow the path that I do here. You'll get blocked off on any other paths anyway by uh, running guards, so. Yeah, you shouldn't have too much of an issue. There's uh, nothing to collect. We've got to be a bit more stealthy again right here. We'll be doing a bit of distracting again. So there you go. You can pick up the rocks right there if you need any. Wait until this guard goes down and then you should be good to go again. This is basically, like I said, a lot of the premise of the game will be sneak in, distracting guards. and But we will be killing guards pretty soon, so there's always that to look forward to. Who doesn't look forward to killing people? Uh, on games, obviously, not in real life. Don't do that in real life. So now that guard won't see you, but now we'll have to do another little bit of running scene, so follow where I go again. Ha, not that way! Where are we going? Come on, 
Just run as fast as you can! There! The wall! They're coming! Quick, quick! <laughs> Now there are no guards at this point so feel free to walk around normally as you would. Uh, this is the first sort of puzzle, very small tiny puzzle in the game to do and it's just pushing this over to the edge just to get up to the top basically. So you see um, a, f a few flashing things on the right there, pick up the rocks, pick up any items you see again. Good, we can climb onto it now. And this is where our sling starts coming more and more in handy. So knock up the box up the top, again, left trigger to aim, right trigger, hold it until the white hits the green. And just release while keeping your finger on the left trigger button there. Pick up some rocks on the way past if you need them and then push this cart over uh, basically straight. Yeah, controlling this bloody car can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, I don't have a clue what the hell I was doing first, so... Uh, and, oh, look at that, an Assassin's Creed style, trying to jump up and you end up um, falling down. Luckily, not to your death, though, which is handy for us at this point. Well, we got out. So we can leave now, right? If they don't find us again. But... You have your sling. You can protect us. It's not that easy, Hugo. Oh. Outside us! Oh no! Quickly! Quickly! This time! The ladder! Go and climb! You first! It doesn't look safe, Amicia! We're running out of time! They're it's, coming! It's going to break! <laughs> no! No! I told you! They went that way! Hugo! Where are you going? Don't so we are still being chased and just go across the other side, hop over this little bit of gap here and Hugo will, as soon as you knock this down, then Hugo will push it down for you. Strength of a bloody genius this boy. Well done. I was scared. I'm sorry about the ladder. It's my fault. Oof, even the biggest strong men in the world would have problems pushing that down. But that's no problem for a five-year-old game character, boy. So, back into sneaky mode then. We'll have to be doing a little bit of stealth section in here. A couple of guards down there. Hey, Conrad. We've surrounded the area. They were here a few minutes ago. The two of you surrounded the whole area? Get out of here! Call the others and get those alleys blocked. If I catch those brats... I'd send them back to hell! They won't get out of here alive! Now I genuinely thought Arnold Schwarzenegger voiced that character. That was just hints of Arnie all over the place. I love that. That was class. But we'll be fighting him in just a bit then. A couple of guards here we will be sneaking past again. Alive! Um, yeah, anyway, distract this first guard. Wait till the second guard gets down to the bottom first. What's that racket about? And then you'll be able to nip off now. Go towards the left, and he won't see you. Just go straight to the tall grass at the end. This time we've got nothing to throw a rock at, so open up the selection wheel, grab your pot, and then get it again as far away from his positioning as you can. Pick up the pot just on your left before you head on through. Wait till he goes there, job done. But this is another chase scene, all you have to do is just run straight. There's only one pathway you can go here. Which way? Oh, I don't know! There's no way out! Oh no! Quickly, please! I'm trying, I'm trying! Head on through the door, go straight to the left and try and get out the other door. Hugo is going to have to come to the rescue again. Because, like I said, he is the boy, even though he is ill. Can you unblock it? I'm trying. Hurry! Hugo, please! Hugo, he's here! 
Hugo, do something! Once the doors open, again there's only one pathway you can take before you are saved by a little old lady. We've got to carry on, just a little further. Dead end, we're finished. This way, don't be afraid. Come in. of the village. Where are they? Listen, we'll tell Conrad we lost them. I'm not staying here. Shh. Rest now. You're safe. They'll never come looking for you here. You're so kid. Well, I know I'd be starving if I got chased all that. Although, then again, I am starving anyway. So, uh, just constantly because I'm a uh, fat bastard. Anyway, this old lady looks like she got a bad back. She can only get up and open the door once. So, just head up the stairs. Go to the left. And before you open up the chest, go to the left on the desk. There is another collectible to pick up. It smells like home. Mother used to use it. So that should be 4 out of 26 curiosities, so go ahead now and open the trunk to get yourselves changed. <sighs> That's better. What about you? There she is, look. Alicia. Top armor girl. I, you know, maybe the old woman had some sexy lingerie or something. That would creep everyone out playing, wouldn't it, really? Unless, of course, you're into that kind of stuff. You know, no judgments here. We're all into some weird stuff. Except me, I'm into all normal My things like gaming, etc. Uh, uh, moving on. This is Hugo. Say thank you, Hugo. Thank you. Clovey, what is happening here? The... Feel free to use the tools by the workshop. So now this is the first point in the game then that we are going to learn how to upgrade our sling and pick up certain items. So, in each level, there's a workbench exactly like that, even though it is in the middle of, you know, uh, rat-plagued France, but there we go. Uh, head, just head on outside for a quick sec. Just to your left, there will be another item that we can pick up and use. Leather. Right. Let's get to work. So, yeah, as long as you're searching, you will find a ton of leather and a ton of items throughout each level, but you'll see me do that anyway. So then, there'll be a lot we can upgrade later on, but for now, just hold A to upgrade the sling, and these are the rest that we can upgrade, and there are all the items on the right which we're going to need. We're going to need, obviously, three of something and five of something else, but like I said, if you follow this video, we'll be able to upgrade absolutely everything in the game anyway, or if you're not following the video entirely, just make sure to keep looking around and keep searching in every nook and cranny in every area before you move on. Yeah, fair play, top advice I give I. But now, once you're done there, head back to the old woman, and now Hugo will have a little bitch hissy fit, and now we got to chase him down. As if that's good enough, because we're already being chased and wanted to be killed. Hugo, come back! What's he doing? Where are they? Where the hell are they? Oh no, he's going to get us killed! Hugo, please! I'm sorry! Wait! Oh my god! Oh no! Hugo! I shouldn't have shouted! Please listen to me! No. I'm sorry! So as you can see then, Hugo's under attack. There's not that many points this happens throughout the game, so I wouldn't concern yourself too much in all fairness. But every time you see an enemy, just aim for the head. Get your sling out and then smash him straight in the head. She has got one hell of a slingshot on her. Hell of an arm on this kid, I tell you. But, um, yeah, you can't hurt the enemies anywhere else. You've always got to aim for the head. Kind of like zombies. I mean, it is a plague-infested hellhole. Kind of like... <laughs> kind of like a zombie game. But um, now we are coming up to our first... Only out of two boss fights in the game. And this one is easy enough. Anyway... I could have made a sick joke about that, but I'm just going to leave it there. Um, <laughs> when you're ready, just climb over the wall, and the boss fight will basically begin. Now, the aim of the game is to just avoid his incoming attacks, and we've got to hit him on the back. So you press B to dodge. As soon as he comes towards you, 
as soon as he goes to hit you, just press B to dodge. And quite a few times he'll have his weapon in the ground. Other times he'll just swing straight for you, like so. So again, just as soon as he comes towards you, press B to dodge. And every time you get towards his back, just try and get your slingshot out. And just hit him with it. You'll be obviously taking off his armor bit by bit. But this is quite easy anyway. Come on, Conrad. Show what you do best. Obviously, as he loses armor, he will get a bit quicker, so you'll have to be a bit quicker. If you need rocks as well, they are at the back. So yeah, this is where you start sprinting, so you've got to be good and quick on the sling now. It might take you just a few attempts, but as long as you press and beat the dodge, you shouldn't have no problems, really. Worst Iron Man ever. Idiot! His armor has stopped axes and swords! One of us is going to die, and the winner will be cursed for all eternity. Ah! Ah! Yes, take me to my son. Do it. Finish me. And that's that, that's chapter 2 over with, with Amicia's legendary swing. That literally smashes a rock through the guy's head, that's yeah, pretty epic, isn't it? <laughs> really, when you think about it. So now we're on to chapter 3, and now we will be getting a whole host of items. This is where the game really kicks off and begins. I mean, it's already begun, but y you know what I mean. This is where we start to <laughs> grab a whole host of items, and there's nothing tutorially about it now. Why are there candles? The candles are to show that you're thinking of someone. Oh, can I light one? If you want to. Don't burn yourself. Thank you. For mommy and daddy. Watch over them. So once you're done with that bit then, have a look on the bench on the right hand side here for some oh, items, some sulfur. Uh -oh. And then what you can do, head to the left, we'll uh, pick up some alcohol here. Obviously, we can upgrade the pouch a bit later on so we can hold more materials, which will definitely come in handy. Otherwise, you'll have to leave some materials behind. That will be a bit more of a pain in the ass. I never... Amicia, you're really squeezing me. Sorry. You don't have to go to the altar there. I just did just to have a little mess around. But go to the right of the altar anyway. And this is where we find another gift. And that's another collectible done. And you can't go outside anyway, so we'll have to turn back right around. Why have they done that? To stop someone from getting in or out. So head back up now, sort of towards the entrance, and we'll have a look at the right-hand side for a few more things that we can pick up. Uh, you know what? I actually lied. There's nothing to pick up. We're just going straight through the broken window. So, yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm Back and I'm lying to you as ever, which is all good. Father, we need help. Leave. It's dangerous. You have no business being here. Wait, please. It's important. We should go and talk to him. Well, it'll be a little bit more dangerous for you in a bit, pal. 
Uh, <laughs> again, we'll be uh, coming to that in just a wee while. So now just uh, keep heading on straight forward for just two seconds. We'll enter this little bit of abandonment building. What's going on here? Perhaps they're building bigger beds? I don't think that's it. So we'll grab two items in this room before we leave. One is just on a box right here, a um, bit of fabric. And then one just on the left by the exit there, some more sulfur. So we'll go ahead, nip back down. Now this bit can be potentially confusing if you're not paying full attention. Stop right by this big old sinky basin, whatever that is. You'll find some alcohol there. She did explain, but I just talked over it, so <laughs> sorry about that. Um, as I normally do. You should, if you've been watching my guides, you'd expect that from me by now. So anyway, uh, to the left of the entrance where we came, find some more fabric, and there's another little thing on the left right there, some more leather you'll find. So that's three items that we've picked up, and now I got lost myself for some reason at this point. That's why I said it's potentially confusing, because I messed it up myself. Which is all good again. Now, don't go into the courtyard just yet. Um, keep to the other side of the wall. Go all the way down and we will find some salty Peter. And this is another another bunch of collectibles we'll have to get then. Is the flowers for Hugo. So this, they are the three types of collectibles. Like I said earlier, we need to collect flowers, gifts and curiosities. And this is the first one. Oh, all right. Now we can go. Thank you, Hugo. You're welcome. Once you're done with that bit, go straight ahead on the bench, just a little bit to the left. We've got another two items we can pick up for our sling. Before you head down the left there, just keep going straight down the other end of this little bit to find another two items, a cord and some more sulfur. And now we can carry on with the main path. And I think this is where we're going to see Father O. Plague Man. That's not his real name, obviously, but... I wonder if there is a Father Plague Man out there. I genuinely think there's nothing funnier than hilarious names. And hilarious second names. Like, is that quite dickish of me? <laughs> or is it... Oh, do you, are you in agreement with me? Anyway, with uh, this next bit, we're just following the father. He's got a bit of a limp. Uh, he must have had a hell of a night the night before. All coked up off plague, plague juice and stuff. Started dying. And when we finally found out where it came from, it was already too late. And where did it come from? We're nearly there. Hey, Brother Morel should be here. We are the last two remaining. Here are the introduction of the rats. Now, as you can see, they are very scared of light. So as long as you've got light by you, they will not come near you at all. I mean, that is a lot of rats. Like, that is a shit ton of rats. <laughs> But yeah, just keep going forward at this point. Like I said, there'll be loads of these torches and loads of... Um, uh, are they braces? Are they called braces? You can light up. You know, things hanging on the walls. You you know what I mean. Oh, that guy's cut in half. That's a bit gutting. But just like any other enemies, then the rats will devour you. You get, like, about two or three seconds if you start getting eaten to just back out and get back into some light. Otherwise, it'll be a very um, plaguey rat boy death for Amicia. So, obviously, just keep that in mind. So, from this point then, we can go down. There are sticks, as you can see on the left, um, which we can burn by pressing Y. I actually did a bit of a... Not a boo-boo, but I've done a bit stupid here. Because, obviously, with sticks, they will eventually burn out. So what I should have done was gone to the brazier on my right hand side here instead. Go away! Go! Go away! Calm down, Hugo. The light will protect us, alright? Alright. So 
so then we managed to get through this bit with no problems either let it burn out or just press B button to uh, extinguish the fire and now we can go up but obviously we're not completely out of the woods yet as you would imagine because it's never that easy in any video games is it unless you're playing a rattle like a game obviously a uh, bunch more rats will come through the floor then but of course there's plenty of light for now so to the left just gra go ahead and grab some sulfur uh, sulfur don't no, I keep calling it sulfur and just to the left here you'll find some lot more leather so go ahead pick that up and now we can just nip over there because obviously after you grab some fabric there's no way past the rats at the m at this moment in time so luckily for us then there is a hanging brazier with some light in it just at the top here get your sling out love and smash that one down try not to look we can't do anything for them now it's horrible i know so directly to the left there's some more rocks if you need some more which you might do at this point of course just try obviously try and avoid the darkness as you can on the bench on the right there's some sulfur obviously it'll be in red if you're full at the moment can't get through that door obviously so go through the only open door and up the ladder yes So head towards sort of the back of the area. On the left here, you'll find some salty pita once again. And a little bit further on, we'll find some leather as well. Now, there's a hanging brazier right in front of you here. Don't knock it both down. Just knock the one side down. Don't think you can knock it down completely anyway. But uh, the light will help us. And before you head back down the ladder, just grab the bag of rocks on the left if you need in some more ammo. So you've got to time this just right then. As soon as the light comes to your side and the rats are gone, quickly run over and to the right, jump over the gap in the fence right there. And we're going to find another collectible right here, another gift, oh, another curiosity even, and a couple of items on the bench as well. So again, just a few items there with the collectible. Again, you'll have to time this bit perfectly. I actually got lucky because I didn't even bother timing it at all. But I got quite lucky with this. So as soon as it swings it up, then you can nip on through. See, are you loving the game as much as I am so far? It's, uh, you know, for the first level to be so sort of intent. I mean, it's been pretty intense straight away. But up the stairs couple of items here and now we can also upgrade well anything you want really but it's definitely worth uh, upgrading your pouch as you can again carry more materials this will come in handy a lot later on now we can just nip through the door then bunch of rats once again gonna come through as will be the same story there's a piece of ham on your left so sling that one down and there'll be one to your right so sling that bad boy down as well because the rats will be attracted and they could probably see you moving about, but, well, they ain't giving a shit now, so job done. A couple of rocks on the table, a couple of salty pita boys on the table as well. Just to the left, pick up another item, some more leather. It's just a constant item haulage, this game. And I'll tell you what, it's not bad, actually, for a, for a game that's full of plague and, you know, you're trying to run for your life. There are a lot of good items for you to pick up, <laughs> which... Uh, comes in coincidental handy. All right. Let's be careful. Here we are then. Another bit we've got to be careful at then. But directly to your left is some alcohol to grab. And now you'll have to climb up on the table because there is no other way through. Quite at the moment. Uh, you don't have to crouch really, this is just, I just found it a lot easier to crouch when you're trying to be a bit sneaky. Um, before you go to the right, go to the left, there's a rock, you can pick up some sulfur off the ground without getting your hand bitten, which again, that's another piece of handy, handy-idgeness right there. 
Uh, get your sling out. Get rid of this piece of ham. The rats will be attracted to once again. But like I said, when you do that, don't jump down straight away. Wait until the rats get down because they will actually still kill you. So, you know. And we've got the deadlifting queen Amicia here. That back is unbelievable. Congrats for a 15-year-old French girl in the 1300s. Must be eating a lot of apples and dirty old ham to get that strength. Oh, oh never mind. Screw that. So this bit then, uh, Hugo will be walking up to the other end. You have to stay in the light. If you go too far ahead or go too slow, the rats will get you. So be careful. What about you? We'll uh, move together. That way, the light coming through the grating will protect me too. Ready? Ready. Here we go then, slowly. Very good. Look, there's a hole. Do you want a torch? Yes, there are too many rats on my side. But where can I get through? The hole behind you. That's the only way I can see. Go through there and I'll meet you on the other side. Are you sure? Just stop if you see rats. I'll be with you very quickly. So we're on our own just for the moment as his Hugo, but you know, he's all good. Um, you won't be able to move any faster than this, obviously, which isn't necessarily a bad thing when there's plague-ridden rats all about your ass. Um, to go up to the end here, we've got two items here we can pick up. And to burn some rats as well, while you're at it. And then, easily enough then, just put the torch down and climb over and you're free and clear. To the outside world, once again, breathe in that lovely, breathy anus. Oh, until Hugo's in trouble again, obviously. Hugo, talk to me! Let's go ahead, grab a stick then from where you sort of ended this little area. Press Y to get some fire onto that stick. And before you head on to the main room, straight ahead, go into this left room right here. And you see there's a couple of items on these um, uh, toilets. Yeah, they look like shit stained toilets with... <laughs> I know how that guy died. That wasn't a plague. He shit himself to death. Um, anyway, <laughs> once you got a couple of items in there, then... Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm still talking crap. I'll never change. Go, go ahead, grab another stick, and now we can move on to the main area to save Hugos. Press Y to light up this brazier, uh, brazier, <laughs> brazier, that's a woman's bra, on the floor. What you'll have to do then is get your sling, and you see the lit flaming brazier on the left-hand side up above you. You'll need to grab that, or sling that down. Calm down, Nomicia. He's fine, you're fine. Stay focused. In fact, sling them both down, because that will come in handy as well a little bit later on. Grab some rocks right on the floor here. You know, the rats were close to it, but that's all good. So we'll grab a stick, light up our torch from the second one we slung down. And now we can go and light up the unlit one that we slung down just now. So once ahead, go back, just grab a stick from where we started. Luckily, there's not a lot of backtracking in this game, which I'm happy enough with that, because there's some games you just got to go through the whole level just to backtrack, just to get to the end of the level. It's just absolutely weird. Um, once you light up your stick then, make sure to stick to the right a bit so you can grab some fabric on your way out, and then you can light this unlit boy right here and then you got some items on the table as you can see some alchemical and some leather again starting to build up quite nicely now and now Hugh, we have saved the day Hugh Goss is good and um, for some reason I'm dodging absolutely nothing <laughs> but that comes in handy because there's a cord and some alcohol there if you need it Let's climb up the ladder that Hugo was on actually we'll be taking a little sneaky peek up there and there's a reason why we're doing that. We'll be grabbing yet another collectible, Curiosity number 6 out of 26, just in this little open box right here. Tablet from the Crusades.
turn around from this point then and instead of going back down the ladder just have a look at this box directly in front of you and we've got another couple of items another bit of uh, sulfur and a tool item there to grab and now we can head back down this way come on yes But then, so we're finally done with this area. I know that might have taken a while, but now we can head on back to our starting point and then just blast on through. Easy peasy lemon L squeezo, right? Out of here now yes uh, so directly in front of you then grab another couple of items here and if you want to have a look on the workbench and see if there's anything you can upgrade your sling with do that which at the minute we do and we're gonna upgrade our ammunition bag so get that one done again it doesn't really matter what order you do them in because if you follow the video you'll be getting them all anyway but you know just worth following anyway, isn't it? Just in case. Right. Oh, what's that on the ground? Should we go anyway? Yes, we've managed to get this far. We'll be fine. Just stay close. And again, we've got to do a little bit more wading through the plague-infested hellhole. That is all of these rats right here, so... Yeah, you should now be used to sort of having to grab a stick, lighten it up and setting on your way. Already you should be used to knowing what the rats like and don't like. The rats like to eat you and they don't like fire and light. It's pretty easy one to understand that, to be fair. So from this point then, just head on to the right. There's a few sticks on our right. As you can see, just there, lighting up. Which again is another uh, good little thing about this game. If if there's something that you can't actually see the items that you need will flash and uh, again it's just little things like that in the game which makes this game even better alongside all the story and just just everything I honestly couldn't find one bad thing about this game but anyway that's it we are now done you see the light run and actually I mean you've actually got to run because uh, yeah rats come out the wobbles I'd be careful not to go too far to the left or the right. Job done. We did it. We did it. We did it. We... Amnesia. Now already we are on to chapter 4, I say already, we have been playing this game right now for about an hour and 9 minutes, an hour and 10 minutes, so you can see where this game is, like I said, it's, it's one of those games that it doesn't drag on, Less, I, it's going to take about 7 hours this video, but it's not one of those games that drags on, the levels are great, um, the story, the gameplay is fantastic, so like I said, it's not one where you're just like, oh god, I wish this was getting done. It's been a very quick hour and ten. I thoroughly enjoyed every single level of this game, to be fair. So, that's all good. Right, before we carry on, we're going to the right. And we're just heading down this hill here. There's a little... Um, what are they called? Wooden walkways? There's another name for them. Just let me know in the comments, anyway. But there's a couple of items on this wooden walkway going onto a river, anyway. Be a fish, a frog, I really don't know. We don't have time for this right now. Come on. But I've never seen a real frog. 
who goes done pissing around, although I suppose he hasn't seen anything before, uh, go up to this little tree stump here, just a bit to the right of where you were, and it's another collectible we pick up, and then just a little bit further on, the, the tiniest bit further on, it's a bit of a homeless tent, so that should be 7 out of 26 curiosities now, and there's a couple of items just on this homeless man's sheet. And then once we're done with that, now we can finally carry on. Go through this little bit of, through these little bits of bushes and trees here to find rocks and another piece of leather. And that's all for this area. We are swiftly moving on. This guide coming out is actually quite coincidental and pretty hilarious, given the time and current of the coronavirus spread, spreading around. <laughs> and the fact there were virus outbreaks in 1720, 1820 and 1920, you know, not to defer you from life or playing this game, of course. <laughs> anyway, now we are back on planet Earth, on the surface, and we're going to be facing some more enemies. We're going through distraction time now. Once again, if you remember doing in the second level, using your rocks... Uh, Pressing LB and then right trigger to throw the rocks without standing up and being seen. So go ahead and do that and then just like at the end of the second level, as soon as the guy turns around, then we can start moving. Nah, nothing. Nothing here. Amicia, look. There's a bridge. Right, so we're all good. Here's a couple of items. Obviously, go to the right rather than the left because you'll just be seen and sliced up. There's a couple of items here on this wood and on these boxes which we'll need. And guess what we're doing? We are doing pot time this time. So opening up your selection wheel, throw in the pot. As soon as he turns around, then you'll be good to go. Yours. What was it? I actually love when the guards are saying, Who was it? Who what was that? That clearly sounds like a pot. Well, you're not stupid. Anyway, that's where we'd normally be going to the right, but just turn to the left when you get to this point. And you'll just have to wait for this guard because there's a couple of items in the chest directly in front of us. But we will need the guard. The timing's pretty specific here. He'll have to come back and the second he turns around, that's when we can grab them items. Uh, the guard's patterns are very predictable, to be honest. There's nothing that's too challenging. I thought that some might be some might be quite randomised or anything, but it's literally not. The same guards do the same patrols all the time, so it's just a case of getting used to it and knowing where they're going and when they're going to go and etc, etc. But anyway, once you get that chest, no reason for us to hang around in state, so we can move on. Go to the left here in the tall grass and be um, using our little brother again. User. So there'll be certain points in the game where we can use our little allies and characters. If you press the up on the D-pad, so as soon as he's distracted and he'll move over to the left, press up on the D-pad and that is when Hugo will go. And we'll be doing that a few times with various characters, a couple of, of characters throughout the game. It's very interesting and the technique works really well. And this bit I don't get. Amicia is very, very clearly seen. You can see her. I mean, it's not like it's a lot of grass there, but apparently this guy has too much bloody eye armor on or something because he can't see a thing. Which is great for us, don't get me wrong. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I generally crap myself the first time because I thought I was going to get caught. But, no, apparently not. Apparently he's blind as well. So, go on, play. Anyway, a couple of items in this room. We'll need to be distracted another guard here, so grab your pot, smash that through the gap in the wall there. And then there's a bunch of tall grass we can hide in once again. Oh no, they blocked off the farm. Tell 
on the cluster the road is blocked. Any person or vehicle that wants to get through is to be stopped and searched. And what are we looking for exactly? A five-year-old kid. Hugo de Room. Hair, blue eyes. Is are you talking about sister? me? Lord Nicholas wants them alive. Shh. Usual. Captain of the Purple Guard wanting them alive? So as it turns out, you don't really have to wait for their conversation to finish. As soon as they walk past, you can just carry on. That's no problem. There's a little bit of waiting to do at this point. There's a guard who patrols, and you've got to be quite sneaky about it. But he takes his freaking time. So just wait here for just a moment. Geez, finally, and the second he turns his stupid back, then we can nip on. Don't follow him up the stairs, just go just underneath right here. There's going to be another guard popping up on the left. You can grab some alcohol on the way as well. Don't worry about the guard up top, he can't see you now. Which again, is, is pretty stupid in my eyes, but uh, there we go. The plague helps us by blinding everyone else, apparently. Throw the pot, he's good to go and distracted, and now you can climb up. He can't hear you whispering or climbing, so again, maybe the death. This plague's helping us out big time. Go off to your right then, and there's another workbench in the middle of <laughs> plague-stricken France. Let's upgrade our pouch now to get more materials we can carry. Not bad. Not bad at all. Monsieur. And we will be getting yet another miscellaneous achievement coming up here. Basically, Hugo is going to go for a little hide and seek, and it's our job to find him. But we have got to sneak up on him, basically. So just follow the exact same path I do, and you'll follow him with no problemos. Hugo? Hugo, where are you? Oh, Hugo, it's not funny. Hugo. Oh. <laughs> Do you want the guards to catch you? Don't do that again. Sorry. Ah, come on, Amicia, honey. He was just having a little laugh. I mean, he's still five years old, after all. <laughs> you know, so yeah, he's going to have some fun, since he's just been dosed up with potions most of his life. Anyway, from that point, head towards the riverbank. To the right-hand side, there is another couple of items and a gift for us to pick up as well. He was an alchemist. Oh. A nice boat. Alright, sadly for us then, the fun times are over, now we're back to sneaking about and trying not to get ourselves killed. Go into where the bacon lives, uh, I mean the pigs live, and just hop over this half a door right here. And there's going to be again, a couple of items and things inside, as there always will be. So grab a pot, which you need. So again, we'll be doing a few bits of distracting. Have a look in this chest right here for a... Another couple of items, cord and leather, and then just head out the door. Oh no, there's loads 
to them. Shh, keep quiet. Right, the timing of this bit can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. So you see the guard walking straight in front of you. As soon as he turns back, then you can head on. But be careful, there is a second guard that patrols this area right here. I literally almost got caught. Somehow he didn't see my uh, Amicia's feet sticking out. <laughs> Which again, always an advantage for us. So wait till he nips off and then just hide behind this wall. The guard previously can't see you now. So we're going to do another bit of distracting. Grab the pot. Throw it over as far to the grass right there in front of you. And then as soon as he goes over to it, we'll be sneaking behind him and just down the fence right down the way there also i hope there's no uh, blind players uh, playing this because my instructions and directions are pretty awful so uh, you know <laughs> anyway just carry on straight down to the fence now again i almost mess up here but you've got to be careful so we'll be opening the chest but you've got to wait until that back to uh, guard turns his back even I try opening it here, and he's like, I actually see, again, he actually sees me and thinks, I must be a ghost or something. Just that uh, pale, beautiful reflection. Like me in real life. So, yeah. Anyway, soon as the guard goes back round, now we can carry on over this fence. Just wait until the two guards straight Ahead of you are just um, walking in the opposite direction. And you should be okay to go. There's a pot which is on one of the barrels here. So make sure to grab that one first. You should be okay. You shouldn't be spotted as long as you stay directly behind the wall. So just stick as close as you can to this wall. All the way round. And we'll be distracting this guard here with another pot trick. What's all the noise? And again, as soon as he walks off, you're good to go. Go to the left, and we will be getting a couple of items once again in this house. That is locked, so you can't do that. You'll have to use your little brother to go ahead and get in this hole here. Oh, that sounds wrong if you think about it, so just ignore that. Open it from inside. Oh, I know he's only five, but he takes his sweet time, doesn't he? <laughs> no, grab the lever off the table, a couple of sulfur there, and there's something else. What else have we got? A bit of salty pita just on the end. Another three items, and now we are good to go. Now, this next part for distracting the guards will require some uh, sort of pretty half-ish timing, so head up to where towards where the sort of tall grass is you can see something flashing on the right hand side so pick that up we got some rocks if you needed now what we need to do is distract this guard by doing our usual rock against the pan tricks but you see two guards just up the way just straight ahead of you you've got to wait until they are talking to each other because if you try to do it where the one guard is right now he's going to see you and you're going to get sliced and diced so just keep waiting Keep waiting, keep waiting, there you go, as soon as he turns his back, distract this guard, walk behind him, you can't run, don't run because you'd be caught again, so just slowly take your time, and then you should be good to go. Can't wait till our shift ends, so we can go back to the bastion. Hey, Nothing is it true the Grand Inquisitor dissects rats there, to see what's in their bellies? Why not? So another little bit of waiting, grab the pot this time from your selection wheel, again we have to wait for this guy to turn his back, so as soon as he's coming back, throw the pot, this guard will be okay, you'll be able to just sneak behind him with no problems, you see the gap in the wall, that's where we're going, turn directly to the left, I know it seems like the guards can see you and they can spot you, but they actually can't, so you should be now... Free as a bird to go. Shh. 
But they can't see us anymore. No, they can't. I'll give you a hand. All right. to rest when we get to Laurentius's place. My head. It hurts. I, I don't know what to do, Hugo. What would mommy do? Give me medicine. I can carry you. That's the best I can do. Come on, climb up. So with Hugo acting like that when his head plays up, doesn't that sort of remind you of goku -y, Dragon Ball Z, -y, kamehameha A? Does it not? No. I know. That must be why I feel all funny. You're just tired. I miss... At least you were allowed to see her. Hmm? Huh? Nothing. Mrs. Mill, we're nearly there. Will he shut me inside again? Like mommy. Safety. All right. It's true, it's dangerous out here. But sometimes it's fun too. You'll get better one day. <laughs> Are those dead animals? What on earth happened here? We're going to have to be careful now. You better get down, Hugo. So now we've got past the enemies, but we ain't getting past the rats yet. There's a lot of rat infestation to get through just yet, as they burrow their asses out of the ground. So just run immediately to your left to the next torch. It should be okay. Now we should also be good to just run straight to the next torch. So go ahead and do that. Try not to get stuck in the mud. It doesn't make too much difference, but slows you down a little bit, doesn't it? Sprint all the way up to the right, which you can't do. I mean, straight up. So just follow this little path of... Uh, little wooden path on the way. All the way around until we get to the next torch. So the rats, they're deadly, but they're quite stupid. They don't think to just run... A, they don't think to just run straight to you. God knows why, but... Well, saves us dying, I suppose. So once we are at this bit then, a little something will happen right here and we can collect a few things on our way. That mud again! We'll never get through! Well, I'll say something will happen. We've actually got to make that happen. So grab your, <laughs> grab your rocks, get the sling, and then make this little bit happen. You can't just expect uh, everything to be done for you. And, you know, we all have a bit of um, a bit of dead pig on our plate, but I wouldn't eat anything that's come off the ground. Not on this French plate. Beautiful spot. Oh, no, no, no. Wouldn't trust any dead animal, to be honest. So now just run forward. You're in the light, so there's no rats that can harm you again at the moment. Grab a stick from your right, but before you do that, grab this chest. Sorry. D Promise I'm not steering you wrong. And uh, now grab a stick. So, <laughs> I will grab the fire from this point, as obviously it'll give us the most time. So now go through the glorious mountain that is. Rats that want to eat you and dead pigs that probably smell like, well, just pure death to be fair. Go ahead and light up this little mound of wood right here. And this is what we'll be doing for the next sort of minute or so, just making our way through the rats. So, you know, all fun. Nothing too depressing going on here. So just make your way up to this cart, like the cart. We will be pushing this in a minute, but just go to your right and grab some more leather. 
and a few more rocks, uh, uh, sorry, fabric. I can get confused with rocks and fabric now. I'm officially losing my mind. Congratulations to me. Anyway, now we've got to push. So, again, you'll be controlling this. This isn't an automatic thing, so the fire won't die out or anything. So you've just got to push and control. Nice and easy. Maybe to contain the rats here. It's very, very heavy. I, I don't talk. We did it. We made it. And congratulations, you've made it. But obviously being a video game as it is, it we're not quite done yet. So go to the right first then, just before we head on straight. Just around this corner here will be a chest and it'll be full of items. Or two items specifically. And from there we'll head basically just ahead of us next to a well and just to the left of that will be like a little shed to open that'll be another couple of items so there's a few sort of items in this area um, a little bit to explore you can talk to the horses talk to the pigs if you want see if you want to eat them as a bit of bacon later unless you don't fancy getting the uh, coronavirus plague virus it's pretty Locked. We have to get in somehow. Oh, you're still alive. I'm sorry about your friends. Those bags look heavy. Rotten grain. Must be to feed the pig. Hello there. Not a night to stay outside, hey? So yeah, doing those three there, they didn't do anything again. That's just little bits to explore and, and find out. Now, what we've got to do is go through this window right here. You can't go through the door. That's locked. locked. But do not go through that window just yet. Do not. Head to the right of the building first. And it's where we will find another flower for Hugos the boss. And I think I forgot to mention earlier on that if you do happen to miss any collectibles, you can uh, replay it with chapter select. It'll tell you on the main screen how many collectibles you've got in that episode, what you've missed. So it's easy enough to get back to anyway, just in case. And then once we're done here, now, now we can head through the window as we look for Laurentius. And be very careful, right? Yes. Good. Oh, it smells funny. It's alcohol from the stills. Uh, sorry guys, just checking my notes there. Um, if I do stop for a, about 10 to 15 seconds, that's just me checking my notes. Now, have a look on the workbench and now we can upgrade our pouch this time. Now I said pouch earlier, but that was our pocket. Apparently I'm blind and I couldn't read earlier, so... <laughs> So from there then, we can now head straight upstairs. Um, there's a door on your left. Don't go into that one yet. Head to the far side first. Oh, basically the right door of the upper room. And in here, we are going to find another curiosity. What does it represent? It's very pretty. Grab some rocks before you leave and now head back down to the other door where we find Laurentius and a little friend we can take on our travels. Who are you? Magister Laurentius! Stop right there. He's contagious. Hugo. Here. The Inquisitor. 
requisition came. The stuff is in the barn. Come on. Oh no. What are we going to do? Yep, sorry about that. I thought there was a couple of items in the room, but as it turns out, there was nothing. And, oh, look at that then. Wherever we go, trouble follows. So, whap out your sling, and we'll smash those two bits of ham down and smash out the light so the rats can devour them. And you know what? It's just little puzzles like them which require you to think on your feet if you don't follow a guide. And they're very interestingly and very actually well done. And it's just, li even the easiest puzzles require you to just stop for a moment, have a think, and things like that just make this game even better than it already was. There's a couple of puzzles that are different to that, and as you'll see a bit later on, but this game is generally fantastic for all of the stealth, all of the action, but some of the puzzles in this game are brilliant. Not too challenging, but it does require you to think, just like this bit. Now, how are we going to get rid of the rats on this point? This might take you a while again if you're not following a guide, just open up a chest here on the left to grab some things, but what we'll need to do is get a pig in here. We're going to have to sacrifice a pig, which, well, I'm sure many of us have done it in our life anyway, so it's not too different. Uh, we need to grab the pig feed here to get the pig to follow us and go on from there. Are we going to feed him? <laughs> you could say that. Yum yum. That's it. Make sure you do public or you get stomach ache. Right then, say goodbye to Chris P. Bacon, everybody. What a pig's name. I made that up on the spot, honest. Didn't just have to look at Google or anything for funny pig names. Um, but once you're done, go outside of the door and we're going back to where we first were at the beginning of this area. Lucas will pick up this ladder and that's what we'll climb to get to the next floor because, well, as you see, we ain't getting through the first floor. Get up there. The lights. Yes. So when you knock out these two lights then, that's when the rats will do their thing. And Hugos the boss isn't stupid, he knows what's going on. I'm sorry, Hugo. We have no choice, Hugo. We have to get the rats away. It's horrible. You're just like all the others. Hugo. There was no other way. I'll go first. All right. Come on. Over here. Well, you know, lads, sacrifices have to be made sometimes. I can't think of any examples right now, but Lucas will help us out, lift him up, and now we are into the sort of underground lab area. And we'll need to collect quite a few items in this room for Lucas. And this is where we now start the sort of alchemy, which we can learn ourselves. And this stuff is going to come in extreme handy, and will be extremely fun too. Alcohol and sulfur. Alcohol, sulfur, that's everything. What do you do? An alchemical blend. I'm dissolving the reagents. Oh. Oh, it's uh, just alchemy. Lucas, why am I Looks not Looks like they spent like quite a bit of time this? here. He was bitten by a rat. You won't. And is he going to die? He... I'll do everything to make sure that doesn't happen. Demons. This oven... It must be what they call an Athenor. Levite extractum sic. Latin. So the first alchemy we will learn is Ignifer, which basically it's just one big fireball more or less. And obviously all the items we've crafted so far, you will see once you open the selection wheel, 
what items you need and how many you need to use it. So that's why it's very important to have gotten all the items that we have so far. Because as well as upgrading all the ammo, obviously um, upgrading the sling, sorry, we'll need to craft a lot of ammo. So what you need to do then, it is, as you would do in any way, just uh, left bumper and then right trigger to throw uh, any sort of um, bonfires or any bits of wooded areas, any braziers and things like that. So this stuff comes in much, much handy throughout the entirety of the game. Thank you. I finished my mixes. We have to go back to Laurentius. Amicia, you should go ahead. So just head on up, and as you'll see, there's obviously a lot of rats on the left-hand side. So when you see any little bits of flashing ember, as you've seen there on the piles of wood, that's when you know you can throw it at. And in case you can't tell, obviously if you can throw something at something else, your little reticule will go green basically inferring to a target so that'll come in handy if you're a bit stuck as to where to go or what to do so the next one they go straight in front of you then chuck that one up and that'll get rid of the rats give you a bit more breathing room so you'll learn how to use this quickly any sort of potions and everything that you'll learn throughout the game you will learn to use quickly anyway so it won't be too challenging for you leave me alone hugo listen one thing I have noticed though is I do apologize if when I'm opening up the selection wheel I click something a bit too fast so you don't know um, what I'm picking. I do try to go kind of as slow as I can but I think with the situation we'll be in I think it will be quite obvious and obviously I'll explain what you need anyway so you shouldn't have too many issues. Like obviously at the minute the only thing we can use is Ignifer. So yeah keep using that and obviously Use your sling when necessary if you can't reach it while just throwing and, you know, it all comes quite easy to you. Why do I think of Ignifer as Yennefer of Wengerberg? Ignifer of Wengerberg. See, that's a lot better. Now, when you hit this, time it perfectly so the rats don't devour you. Of course, you'll have to run in with the light. And now it's just one straight shootout to the end. So run, run, run. Come on, we'll walk from here. It'll warm you up. If we follow the aqueduct, we should arrive... And on to chapter 5 then. So we'll be doing basically what we've been doing throughout the game so far. Picking up items, avoiding rats and enemies, and trying not to die. It's, I'm sure you've got the premise of the game by now. Aren't you cold? A little, yes. Hugo doesn't seem to mind. Hey, go <laughs> he's keeping himself warm. Yes, but he's too far for my liking. So the beginning of this area can be slightly confusing where there's a lot of sort of um, runoffs such as this point for example if you head to the right you'll find some leather which of course will all be relevant for later on but just try and stick with me 
because I'll be sort of darting off to the left, darting off to the right here, there and everywhere, and it can be kind of confusing with just a lot of sort of bushland and things like that. Now I stopped here for some reason, there's there's nothing here, but um, Hugos the boss is just the other side of these rocks, and he's found a sword if you walk up to him now. Listen, Hugo. Put that down. It's not for children. No, oh, you're not fun. Come on, let's go. Do you smell that? Oh, it stinks. Yes, it's horrible. Here's some slightly more confusing. Normally we'd have to go straight on, but head to the left right here and you'll find some fabric just on the ground at this point. And then what we'll do is head on through the bushland. So there's a little bit of a way to go, but basically we are heading now for another collectible, another Hugo's flower. If you just keep following the way I do is basically just a straight path. And after you get some items in this chest, of course. Oh. They're so pretty. What are they again? Gladiole. Ah, yes, of course. Don't you like them? That's not a good sign. Hugo, they're flowers. And just before you head on through, if you have a look on the left of the rock by this little waterfall right here, there is some sulphur, which I don't miss, I will go back for that. Now this is a basically quite a creepy bit, there is just a ton, an absolute ton of dead bodies. And well, the game pulls no punches, we'll be, as you see, straddling straight through them. Now again, this area can be slightly confusing as well, it's so vast and open and quite wide. Um, but there's a, again a few areas we'll need to explore to get another couple of items, etc. So again, follow the way I do, head towards this little contraption over here. Or big contraption even. I shouldn't be here. Oh, the smell. It's unbearable. I feel sick. Don't look. Concentrate on the aqueduct. Yeah, to be fair, Hugo, I think we all would if we were in that uh, situation as well. So from this point then, just between some bushes behind you, there is some cord you can pick up. And I think we're basically done with this area now. So that's just where we were then, between the two bushes, just by the big contraption. Uh, not, not too hard, not too hard that one, but I got confused myself on that point, which is why I had to show you. So now we'll go over, you'll see where we're at. Just have a look at the landmarks. So now we're over by this big broken tree. There will be a couple of crows on it if you do get 
um, lost or anything like that. Normally there's a few crows on that which will fly away when you get there. So now just behind you there is something on the ground, a bit of salty Peter. And now it's going to start getting into rat plague territory once again. So just head on now straight up to the torch right in front of you. And actually what makes me laugh is just how casually you're running over these dead bodies. Like us in real life we would be spewing and probably crapping our pants as well. Especially at the sight of that Tesco horse burger there. So go ahead, smash out your ignifer. We're going to need it, as you would imagine, in this little area. Just behind you, though, before you move on, you can get another couple of items, which we will need. So, yeah, if you're running low, obviously feel free to craft a couple. I don't craft too many, sort of at the beginning, only really four to six, because we won't need it that much. But of course this all counts towards your achievement for crafting 100 ammo, which you'll get later on. So now once we do that, we can... Well, as you can hear, the rats are coming, but we are safe from the light for just a sec. But luckily we don't need to go where the rats go, just to the left of them to grab some alcohol and some sulfur. Or sulfur, even. I don't know why I keep saying sulfur, because I'm not American. As you see, straight ahead then, use your slingshot and get the ignifer going so we can move over there just a little bit. And run through the torches. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I am the plague man. And now we've got some soldiers to contend with as well. And again, like I said earlier, with, with this game, it, it presents a sort of challenge, like I said, about thinking on... How are you supposed to get past these rats and not draw attention to yourself to the guards? And again, the game does it really well, where it's not too much of a challenge, but it does make you think, and that's great. So go ahead, chuck an ignifer rock over there. I died very, very stupidly at this point, so that's why there was a big edit screen there. Have a look in the chest for some items, if needed. And now we'll have just this slight, tiny puzzle with Lucas basically... After putting that down, we'll break we'll break this down with Lucas and Hugo will go and get a stick for us. Ugh, we can't hold it back for long. So remember, when you want to use people and abuse them, press up on the D-pad. Yes, yes. Be careful. I did it! I made it! Good. Now come back. There you go. Oh, well done, you two. Right, nice work, salad sauce boss. So before we grab the flame, grab a couple of items. Um, alcohol there, and I think there might be no more. So now, what we'll have to do, this is quite challenging for timing. Uh, the timing, you have to basically get it dead on. So head to the left first, and with that we can pick up another couple of items, and then directly, straight away, turn around, Head to the torch, and you should have just enough flame on your stick before it burns out just to get there. And Lucas almost dies, which is not funny because then we'd have to start again. Now with this one, it's pretty obvious what you have to do at this point, but just in case, change the rocks in the selection screen and smash his lantern, and that'll be the end of that guy. So don't worry about the rats now, they'll be distracted, even though I thought there's not that much meat on a bone, but hey, rats like what rats like. Head on just under the bridge here, there's going to be another sort of few items we're going to be picking up. Another couple of rocks, which is well-timed actually, well needed. And now we're good to run, so there's no need to sneak about. Grab some rocks, head up here for another few items before we head back down. Right, so we've got nothing else to get in this area, so now let's head over to the bridge. And basically, what we need to do 
get to the torch, get your sling out and knock down that bit of door there. But there will be a guard behind it, so you'll have to um, get rid of his lantern immediately. Ah, I forgot he didn't have a lantern. You just smash him squ square in the head. One hell of a shot again there <laughs> by Amicia. Right, so Igna for this bit there, and that'll get rid of the rats, and now we can go to where the guard was standing, and welcome to item country. So we've got some rocks on the guard there, rocks on the other guard. If you have a look in the box just to the right, there's going to be a tool item, which they are one of the rarest item, one of the rarer items to get. If you do feel like upgrading of course you can do that which is what we're going to do right now we're going to get the ammunition bag up huh. this should make things a little easier come on get up there right now Where should we go? They are everywhere. Right, so go ahead, grab a stick, make that go on fire, and just walk directly ahead of us then, and we'll be using another cart. And with this car, what we'll be doing, you'll see an enemy straight ahead of you, which is where we'll normally be going. But we'll be heading up to the left for another collectible. But it is a long old walk and a long old push. Well, actually, before you go ahead and push the cart, get your rock out and smash this guy with one of the bestest, deadliest aims I've ever seen. And we might as well get rid of this other enemy, actually, before we do this, so we've got a nice clear path in front of us. Get your pot out, throw it as far as you can, just straight ahead of you. The guy then will come around, and then all you have to do is do the same as you did to the last guard. One quick rock straight to the lantern. Or the head, it really doesn't matter what you do. They've got no armor on, so... Yeah, take your pick, the choice is yours. So pick up the pot that we couldn't earlier, and now we can use our cut, go to the left and grab a collectible. Whoop, whoop, sorry you guys, sorry, dead bodies, my bad, my bad, please don't haunt me. Everyone has enough money to buy a sword. Let's push this. Alright. And some people think three point turning in a car is hard. Try getting one of these goddamn big old car boys in the plague century. Yeah, then you'd have real problems. <laughs> but when you finally manage to turn around, Go back down to where you were, and then head to the left this time. Come on. 
So now we're going to have to be very, very sneaky this time. So grab two items on the right. Make sure to bring Hugo with you. Again, if he's too far behind, he will end up screaming and blowing your whole cover. So keep him there. As long as you keep him there, he shouldn't have no problem. But what you got to do, just wait for this guard to eventually start walking. Come on, you fat bastard. Ah, there you go. Where was you, eh? Where was you? But what we're aiming for is that torch right there. So you can get quite close to him. He doesn't hear a thing. I suppose the <laughs> I suppose the noise of rats is gonna overwhelm his head right there. So head on back and we are just going straight through where that sort of um big rock sticking out of the ground is. Again, pick up any items you see on the way, or as I do right here. And that's not a rock, that's some wood with a triangle in it, so... Close enough, right? Sorry, boys, you're just about to be made rat meat. Don't look. Try to ignore everything you see here, Hugo. But I promise you, it's all for a good cause for us. So, we will be going through there in just a moment, but not quite yet. So... Just avoid the rats if you can. I think they're too busy anyway, but, you know, try not to go straight through them. Not yet. There's a chest over here with another collectible and a couple of items. Another curiosity. And now we can head forward and through. And this is where we'll be getting another achievement then. So there is a guard just at the other end, um, opposite a gate. Now what you can either do is just leave him to be killed, devoured, and eaten by the rats. Or what we can do is actually save his life, which will unlock us the achievement. And he will let us through for doing so anyway. And all you got to do is just light up the lantern where he is. Easy peasy. Once again, it's Lemo Squeezo. You, you saved me. Thank you. Thank you. You won't give the alert, will you? You weren't, no. No, no. I'm behind you for you, like you was. Go ahead. I didn't say anything. Good. Oh, no. The torch. We'll do without it, Amicia. So that's beautiful. That's job done there. Uh, nip on to the left and we'll grab another couple of items which are needed, another bit of sulfur, and another tool item. And now we will be learning, learning, learning how to do a new alchemy move set. And it's basically for putting this guard to sleep. I don't see any other way. Damn. We don't have a choice. We'll have to take him by surprise. Here, take this. What do you want me to do with this stuff? Somnum. You see, mix them together. So once you've got the items, open up your selection wheel and obviously we've got all the items needed as Lucas has just sorted us out with that. There's only one that will fill your inventory, so that is all good. And all you have to do is just sneak up to a guard, um, obviously behind, and then press the Y button. And there we go, that's all good then. So turn directly around, grab another few items before you head on through. And get out your ignifer and light up the torch directly in front of you. Now basically we'll be heading straight forward and we'll be doing another little uh, timing puzzle this time around. Where Lucas will turn the wheel and you have to run with the light. Very easy though. No, 
another machine. This one seems a bit different. I told you it was quite easy, wasn't it? <laughs> so grab a few items then, back off the wall, as we've been doing all along. Use and abuse your little brother again. I'm not going to say that about Hugo, that sounds quite wrong. Um, use your brother after you get some Ignifer over there. Because we need a stick, and... Well, we're too fat to get it, basically. And Misa's got too fat an ass, sorry. That's fine to say, because me in real life, i got a big fat ass as well. In a squatting sort of way. Anyway, moving on. Hugo will come back with the stick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, still talking crap, me. So, I hope you still enjoy it, though, you guys. It's still fun. On, what we need to do here. first, though, get uh, get Hugo just over to the light, just a little bit. And directly from there, grab your light and then head directly to the right from these steps here. Again, the timing on it will be just enough. So we can get to the next point to burn it and save our skin. So just to the right there against the wall, we should now be good to go. And we are getting another gift. So pick that up. And then once you pick that one up, grab another stick. And we're going back exactly the way we came. Grabbing Hugo and then getting back over to Lucas. to do this. Go in, Hugo. That's it. Think you can do this? Yes. Stop. All right. Come here. All right. Can you take care of it? We did it. Hugo did the hard part. I just want us to get out of here. Me too. Come on, let's go. <gasps> and fair play in the plague war torn France, there are some pretty banging views as well, I'll give them that. Very beautifully well made game this. So the uh, path was pretty straight there. Just grab some items out of this chest. We're going to be upgrading our sling once again. And this time we'll be doing our third and final pocket. So now we can carry quite a lot of items. Which, you know, as I said, it's all going to come in handy a bit later on. We can also grab some of these sulfur, which we couldn't just a bit earlier. Some more Ignifer time now. Again, if you need it, craft it. Only sort of craft it once or twice for now. There's no point wasting all of the items you've picked up on ammo because you can't get that back and here again we'll be using the car but this time we will be walking by the side of it get ready we're going to have to stay in the light let's go let's go we're not holding it back no run i'm not sure about this it's working for now All right, it worked. So sneak out to the left. There's a few items to grab, but there will be a guard walking there. And this bit is extremely funny if you are a deranged lunatic. Or, you know, it is just funny anyway. How are we gonna get rid of this guard? 
Well, there were some flaming dead bodies, of course. How else? You've got to, you know, make... <laughs> you've got to create some, you know, better epic deaths than just a rock to the head, you know. Um, turn directly behind you then. Ignifer that bit of torch there. And we can grab another couple of items. A cord and another stick, which we're going to need to use to get through the rats. As, once again, you've probably found out by now. And if you haven't, then... Well, uh, you're just a bit slow, but that's cool, because I still love you. I'll help you up. I... I can't. Monsieur... I don't feel well. What's the matter? My head! The macula! He's afraid. We have to get out of here. Hugo? Hugo! Think of the frogs! Remember how they jumped? You were chasing them! Come on, let's go and see some more! Yes! We have to get out of here, Amicia! We will. This place can't go on forever, right? Ah, for all the times he runs off, you can't stay mad at Hugos, the boss, when his head is splitting him and he's all ill and diseased and stuff. So now, we are actually coming to the end of Chapter 5 now. A few distractions are going to be needed to get past these guards here. Definitely no, we don't like to get far, far away from these fucking rats. But these are our boys. They gave their lives for England. What if it were you? You'd want a decent burial, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Come on, then! Guyenne is ours! That was a noise, right? I reckon it was. Yeah, so when there's a few guards about and it's time to concentrate, I do like to try and shut up. Because the last thing you need is a goddamn idiotic voice in your head when you're trying to concentrate. This bit's fine, because you're not concentrating that much. So this is it now. This is where we will meet our new friends as well. Well, they don't seem like friends yet, but they turn out to be quite decent. Well, because Lucas lied, but but that's fine. You, you will come to that. Now let us go. Hey! You're just gonna let them go? What? Hey! Now! Ugh. Soldiers, there's trouble over here. Let's get out of here. We're following them. Hey, wakey, wakey. Bury something. You're lucky, you know. Your everyday corpse robber usually gets a sword in the belly. No questions asked. But me, I've got an eye for that fancy jewellery. And you're lucky I like gold better than blood, Lady Darune. Where is my brother? Uh, shut up. The better you look, the higher the ransom. Who are you? Melly? The other one's Arthur. This is all your fault. Where is my brother? Hey, keep your voice down. So the girl who just dobbed us in at the end of chapter 5 has actually come back for us. And why, you think? Well, we'll soon see. Now, obviously, because she's just helped you escape prison, this is a very, very, even more stealthier section than before. So, again, items and collectibles and things will require, you know, some good, good level-headedness and quite a bit of patience in this one. Sadly, we won't be slinging a lot of people just yet. But we will be making a choice of how Melly's brother, Arthur, will distract guards for us, which is good. Arthur will make him move. What? How? A distraction. He's waiting for us to tell him where and what, so keep your eyes open. So as you see, you've all, you'll always have an option of three. And just follow exactly what I do. I haven't really tried the other two, so... 
Go with the middle one, the cart this time, and Arthur will sort us out and we can sneak on by. So he's your brother. Come on. You got an idea how many deaths were on our side? It's hard to say. Thousands for sure. But the rats may count in no You go as alone with those butchers. They won't And we'll be grabbing a few items from this section alone, so just follow the video, you know, keep just keep following where I go to grab quite a few things from this but uh, this point. Again, take your time though. If I'm not rushing out, it's for an actual reason. Always check the corner just in case. Because you might be a little bit ahead of me or a little bit behind me, so the guards might be a bit further ahead or behind, etc. If you, if you get what I mean. Where the hell are these bloody rats coming from? Is it a Volwa trick or something? No. We have to clear the way. Rats have decimated Valwa villages. Thousands of deaths have been reported from bites or contagion. It is a divine plague. And this is just the beginning. There's no room for a war in this. King Edward must order a retreat. So that's all the items collected from that area. And again, we've got a couple of options to choose from. Just go ahead and choose the left side. Whatever's in the barrel there. So as soon as Arthur gives the look ahead, then we are good to go. So go ahead and follow Smelly. Melly. Sorry. I've done quite well not to call her Smelly first. Watch the bottles here. The bottles will wake the guards up and you'll be caught and sliced and diced straight away. Uh, turn to the left. Don't follow Melly at this point. Turn to the left. Uh, just watch out for the guard. Wait until he comes back and then turns back around. And there he goes. As soon as he turns his back, head straight to the right first to grab a tool item, and then the two items on the bench. One is a leather, and one is another gift. When we're far away from here. Now we can move on. Before you follow Melly, just head to the left and down this little um, bit of alleyway or whatever it is here to grab another bit of sulfur. And now we should be good to go just to carry on and head left into this tent here again being careful of the guards wait until he nips off and then follow Melly. grab a bit of alcohol directly on your left there just in case and you should be good to hide in this tall grass for five oh. that's how you teach a follower a lesson is it true stay down two French right. yesterday yeah but it was easy Let's go. As soon as he turns his back, he is you are good to go. And it still astounds me that they still can't hear two French girls whispering in a plethora full of English male soldiers. I mean, well, the English are deaf. It's it's just that's just fact now, apparently. So we're going through or going for another couple of choices. We've got three to choose from, and the one we'll choose is directly on the right. The boiling pot. Bye bye, rats. I'm left. Well, be careful. And when they are distracted, we can now sneak on by to the left. You should be good. Nobody, they're all distracted, so you are fantastically able to get away. So, some of the words, I, some of my sentences don't even make sense. But you know, you're still with me, so must be doing something right. 
Or you just really want that 1,000 out of 1,000. Or the platinum. He's no longer in the service of King Philip. It is rather odd to be so interested in the children. Why don't you go ask the sister some questions? She must be awake. Oh, no. Don't worry. It was bound to happen. Yeah. With the amount of talking between guards on here, I think back to that Simpsons episode where Homer shouts out to Flanders, Will you two shut up? I just felt that a lot in this game. So what we can do with old Smelly Melly here, so I'm gonna try and stop calling her that as well. One her big thing is locking, uh, unlocking chests that you can't get to. So like we do with Hugo, press up on the D-pad whenever there is a chest that you cannot open nearby. Very handy that comes in. Would you please? So now what we'll be doing is sneaking through a tent full of English drunk guards. But before that, don't follow Melly. Head to the right and we'll grab some alcohol. And just in the wooded shack right here, we'll grab another couple of items and a curiosity collectible. Coins. Aren't you going to take them? English currency. Never touch it. So head towards where Melly went. Now, obviously, what you'll have to do, you can follow me to grab another couple of items, but be careful of the bottles. One of those bottles falls down, and that is it for you and Smell. You are both sliced and diced. Running out of bread and wine. It's the same story each time we win a battle. Half of the reserves just disappear. You're crazy. What? We got through, didn't we? Just... Thankfully, you're still alive. The girl. Not the everyone girl. makes it around here. Huh? What do you mean, the girl? Come on, spit it out. The girl's escaped. Her cage is open. Everyone's looking for her. Shit. Spread out. Watch the doors. And stay in your toes. A cage doesn't just open like that. Might be the Valois doing. Now's the time. This is actually another bit that creases me. There's all the guards now looking for you, but not one they... They decided to not just keep one guard just watching Hugo, just in case you were about to rescue him. <laughs> hey, again, that works to our advantage perfectly, but... Um, yeah, not so bright back in the day with the English soldiers. It's not another dig at the English, don't worry. <laughs> put it in the trunk, sir. Right. Melly, can you look after it? Finally. Now, Hugo, I need to get the cage down. Shit, I don't believe it. I'm fucked. Fortunately, they are busy. Melly, the lock. Detention. Easy. Detention. They said someone's going to take me. It's alright, Hugo. We're going to get 
out of here. Amicia! Oh. They said they were going to take me away, and I wouldn't see you again. Well, now you know that's not true. I'm here. We're staying together, right? Of course. And we're going to go with Melly. She's here to help us. She's the thief. And she's sorry she turned us in earlier. Aren't you, Melly? Yeah. I'm a bad girl. Happy now? Can we go? Take my hand, Hugo. Let's get going. Yes. There's a way out. So yeah, once again, everyone must be deaf because you could hear from a mile off a cage of that magnitude and that just bestiality. That's not even a word, but it is now. In my video, it is. You would hear that, but it doesn't matter anyway. So from basically from where Hugo dropped, turn just directly to your left and head towards this shack up here. Again, just grabbing a few items before we head back down to where we came. Now we'll be knocking out two guards in quick succession. We'll need to get our sleeping potion ready. So you should have enough items anyway to, to be able to cast one. Now, what I did here, I actually died and had to do this bit again, but I actually messed up. So if that happens, just, just keep on. Don't worry if you think you got caught. Just keep on spamming that white button if he does turn around and accidentally catches you. And when this guard is walking back, sling him in the head with a rock and that'll be job done on that one so yeah again another advantage to us is that the guards can be a little a little bit thick you clearly bumped him on the ass you clearly touched his thighs not in a sexual way of course <sighs> freak but again he's well he's he's all pissed up and dead now so that doesn't matter go back to the workbench where we found hugo to do a little bit of upgrading again it's just worth following me and now we'll be there is quite a long time now be between checkpoints so you ha you'll have to be quite careful on sort of where you're walking and sort of where you're aiming what you're killing what you're distracting etc i died on this bit and had to go through all that last bit just now so grab your rock distract the guard and we as soon as he comes towards you you can't get him straight away because he'll be seen so get your sling ready and then as soon as he sees you wait just a little tiny bit and then get him now so yeah that bit's quite tricky he did catch me on the first time so be careful with that I was a little bit impatient there, but once again, if he, if a guard does see you, just keep walking until you get to a hiding place. They won't actually see you straight away. And they'll only come investigating over to you when the bar starts going red. So sling him in the head when you've got two seconds then. Melly, can you look after it? All right. That is very stupid of me, got lost in my own little world there for two seconds. Now there's going to be a guard that comes and walks just to the bottom of those stairs there. So few items we can grab, but be careful because he can actually see you through the open tent if you stay there for too long. So just be wary of the guard coming through on your left, but he'll actually come down to the bottom of the stairs and then we can just sling him in the head there.
I can't see anything. Ah! And now that guy is finally knocked the hell out, we can grab the two items on the table here. You're going to see a little screen jump, but that's because I messed up. So just go forward down the steps a little bit. Take your time, peek around this tent here because there is a guard, but he won't be looking. So you can smash that guy's noggin in. Ah, <laughs> nice. I tell you what, you can either have one full-sized army or one Amicia de room with one slingshot boy. Who do you think will win that one? So far, it's the slingshot boy Amicia. Well, happy days. Uh, just go where I've gone then, through the middle, into the right tent here. There's a few rocks there. Turn directly around behind you, go forward, and there's another collectible. This is the English declaration of war. Edward III claims the French throne. <laughs> so from here, we're just gonna head forward, still crouching, still being silent. There is a guard that will be just over this uh, fence here as you jump over. Luckily for us again, not turning our way, so smash him square in the nut. Happy days, and we're coming quite close to the end now again. Just a few more items to pick up in this area. One more guard just down here, so smash his nut in. I was going to say slam and smash at the same time, so that's why I come out with slamash. New word, another new word on one of my videos. Get in there, slamash his nut in. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, almost done now. We're just going to be heading down. Go to the left right here, and we're going to find another item or two. A cord on the right-hand table. There's a pot there if you need it, and some leather. So pick them up. Some sulfur on the right, and some rocks on the left just there. So plenty done. After this cutscene, then, we will be doing a sort of uh, smash and chase scene. So as soon as the scene ends, get your sling out and kill these two guys. And then when you've done that, just keep running forward and to the right and we'll be heading up a ladder. Collect the items off them as well. Some bodies have them, some bodies don't. Amicia! Stop running! Deliver Hugo to us! I tell you what, that Lord Prickless is a very intimidating dude, isn't he, with all his armor walking on. Immediately kill this archer, otherwise he'll just smash you with one shot. You can either kill this guard running up here, or you might as well just wait. You know, I don't know why he thought that was a good idea, but there we go. You can't kill two 15-year-olds and a 5-year-old boy. It's just impossible. Now, one more little bit. A couple of guards will start chasing... Well, a lot of guards will start chasing you. All you have to do is kill about three or four before the cutscene ends. And that is the end of Chapter 6. Woohoo! Getting there now. I'll take care of for you to go. Amicia! Come on! Do you know where we're going? Right now, we have to hide. Would you mind moving on? Right then, so welcome to chapter 7. Now we will get to know Melly for sure, rather than her trying to break us out or her trying to dob us in or anything. And what about your brother? So just keep following her for now. He'll catch up with us. He really saved our lives. It was incredible. Hey. Don't get all lovey-dovey. He'll break your poor little heart. Uh, I, no. Hey, I'm in. Yeah, we're going to use it to cross. What? Oh, what are those birds? Ducks. Oh, like the ones we eat? Yes. 
And they eat frogs. That's life. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Uh, come on. It's not a good idea to stay here. Is he always... like that? He hasn't seen much of the world. This isn't the best moment to start. First one to the middle way. Hey, slow down! It's closed. I'll do it. It's open. Oh, a big wheel! It's for crushing the wheat. So before you go ahead and follow Melly, just turn around and there's a couple of items, a rock and some fabric just to your left. So now we are going to be doing the first slightly complex puzzle of the game. You know, before it was just how we do it. How do we get rid of rats and how do we get rid of enemies? And now this is a puzzle with how the hell do we get all three people across? So first of all, the mechanism on the left get Melly on it and the mechanism on the right get Hugo on that. Wait until this stops and then cross yourself. It's not too difficult when you, you know, have a think about it and know what to do really. But, um, you know, some of us just get it and some of us don't. I usually don't. Um, <laughs> so go ahead, uh, press and mash Y to close the gate there. And then get Melly to come over to the other side. Once you press down on the D-pad, she'll do it automatically. So keep Hugo there. For just a moment then get her on to the other side and then that should be good enough to close the other one and then you can press down on the d-pad as soon as melly sorts herself out there and then hugo will cross and that is that easy as pie in it and there you go see simple we beat the mill if the position make it this far that'll hold them up so then going into the next room we've got another couple of items we can pick up we're also uh, going to be picking up a collectible in just a bit. Uh, grab these two items here. Don't worry about this workbench for now. We'll come back to that a little bit later on. But get out your sling and there's like a little uh, handle just there. Just to the left of that wooden beam. So now we can cross through that. But before we go to that gate, let's just upgrade our ammunition bag to all three. So now we are making some good progress on our equipment. Now with that one done then, head back out where the big wheel is, where you've done the puzzle, and now we can boost ourselves up there to get another collectible. We'll be back soon, I promise. Very well. Hmm. Not much here. And right now we will get another achievement for getting half of the curiosities as well. Rich. You may not be rich, but a little luck would be appreciated. under horses' hooves, then farriers would rule the world. We'll go through here. Come on. Are you trying to impress me or what? No. All right, come on. It's pretty here, and it smells like earth. The Aki Duck. Is that where Lucas is? I hope so. I doubt this castle is going to look like much. Why? This used to be a village, but it was reduced to rubble in just one night, years ago. Some say there's a curse around these parts. Monsieur? She's joking, Hugo. Of course I am. So this is another area we'll, uh, we will be exploring. So first of all, where Melly is right in front of you, just go to the right of her into this first broken down home to get a few items from this chest here. Then afterwards head out, head to the left, head directly to your left right there and with the go to the right then and you will see another item another cord on this box right here then turn directly around straight in front of you into this house here just on the right now and we will get another collectible this time it's one of hugo's flowers you know what that is hawthorn i think nobody likes it because of the thorns but it's good for the heart well aren't you a fount of knowledge mommy taught me 
You can teach me then. And will you teach me how to use the sling? It's a deal. What were you up to? Just a detour. Amicia. Hugo, <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. Oh. Hugo? <gasps> Hugo, look at me. Is it starting again? Your head. It's like... Somebody's going inside. My legs... My legs are shaking. Don't say he's been bitten. It's not the bite. It's something in his blood since he was little. I'll have to carry him. Climb on my back if you can. Come on. Sorry. Don't worry. If it's in his blood. What about you? I'm fine. Lucas is trying to slow the effects down. That's also why we're going to the chateau. Amicia. I'm scared. Of what, Hugo? What's in my head? Don't worry. We're all scared of what's in our heads. Here we are. You'll be able to rest. At last. Help me lift this. I'm coming. Hugo, can you climb down, please? Shh. Where does that go? Outside. Yes. And what did I say earlier? Wherever we go, trouble follows, the Inquisition are never far behind. Either them or big rap boys. It's just a one fun-filled adventure for these guys, isn't it? Anyway, again, we're just following Melly as we have done for the majority of this so far. And we will also be learning a new alchemy skill, which actually comes in handy for these big massive guys because it basically melts steel. So you fling that at his helmet and then fling a, uh, that'll melt it and then you can fling a rock at his head and then kill him just job done but what i love about it, it it literally sounds like a northern english guy saying devil's rant this just awful joke sorry i'm so so sorry Yep, and that's uh, that's how that <laughs> particular potion works. So it works quite well against armoured guys. As you can see, uh, pick up some alcohol that he had on his body there, and now it's going to be quite a lot of sneaking and quite a lot of not trying to draw attention to herself, as you often do in stealth games, obviously. Any idea where the whetstones are? So then kill this guy first, then immediately, immediately switch to Devorantis, and then hit this guy's head on. Immediately switch back to your, immediately switch back to your rocks. And that can happen. It can actually miss if his head's ducking about all over the place. That can actually happen. But there'll be a lot of um, switching back and forth between certain potions and things like that. So from here, then just turn to the left, and now we can sneak on by. Now! They're still looking for me! 
So then, sadly enough, you can't just go ahead and kill the crap out of everyone because there are too many guards. So wait for that guard to turn his back, walk back around, go to the left. And for some reason, this... And you can actually kill this one. It, it all depends. There's some you can kill, but obviously some are in a bit too close proximity. So once that guard's done, just walk forward next to this torch. Like I said, in all the darkness, for some reason, none of these guards can see two young kids who they're actually after in a bathe of sunlight uh, ignore the second torch and aim straight for this tall grass here where this guard is standing and what we need we'll be doing a bit of distracting so we'll you can actually walk a bit bit more forward into the light so he won't actually see you because you're in tall grass even though you look nothing like white tall grass and you're obviously different to him but there we go as soon as he turns around then head straight for the next set of wild grass which is directly in front of you there don't head to the next area yet wait for this guy to turn back around Nothing to report. and then you should be good to go again that's right you were there i had the kid made a right mess of the english I've never seen an explosion like it my ears are still ringing. So this guard, there's nothing we can do. All we can do is make him go sleepy boy. So craft one of them. And then as soon as he sort of stops talking and the other guard nips off, then go ahead, sneak up on him, press Y. Job is a good end. Shit. <sighs> Melly, I'm... No. Wait. So we're going to melt this guy's helmet and then knock his head in. And where he's standing, that is where we're getting another curiosity collectible. A map of the whole country. What are these bastards? So then, now what we're about to see is just how plaguely paranoid these guards basically are. Now, what we need to do is distract this guard from earlier and we'll be heading to the right. But, I do a very stupid thing, so don't do what I do here. I go off and he sees me, but... So he knows I'm there, but just carry on walking, just carry on sneaking walking, just hiding this tall grass. He's literally right behind me and he sees me going to this grass. <laughs> Yet he uh, apparently doesn't see that I went into this long grass. Now he will. Obviously, don't go traipsing off just yet. Don't go walking off just yet because he is going to come back. So if that happens to you, don't get panicky and restart the checkpoint and you have to do it all again. Just get into the grass and then just avoid him. It's honestly easier. It is just easy. Easier to do, easy to avoid. So he's going to come through the grass now. He can see me in the light. <laughs> I love that Plague has rotted these guys' brains, honest. <laughs> Again, just avoid it where he walks. And that's it. And that's, So that's why I kind of like that sort of aspect in this game. It's not so much, right, you're done for, you've got to start again. It's literally like, he sees you, but you can still avoid him. Uh, you know, but... Anyway, at the bottom here, we're going to distract these guards as well. There is a guard right there that's working on the wheel, but you don't need to worry about him. Because, again, apparently he can't hear you sneaking about, and he can't... He's obviously got crap um, tunnel vision as well. So, that again, that's another bit of ant advantageous to us. And we should... Again, there's a guard right in front of us that does walk up and down. So, again, be careful with that one. But now we are basically free and clear of this area. So it's not too bad an area, but you just have to be a, a bit more patient than I do if you don't want to be caught. Uh, well, <laughs> apparently even then, you can still get away with it. So, 
Here we go. We'll, we'll uh, carry on following Smell for a minute then. Ah, let's get out of here. Come on. Go ahead. So kind of you, Your Highness. Go on, get moving. What are you going to do to me? Careful. It's Lucas. The card should be arriving soon with fresh supplies. They'll take you to the Inquisition Bastion in town. Amicia, do you have any Devarantis left? Yes. Then go on. Knock his helmet off. said lots of bad words. I heard that. And what about you, Lucas? How are you? Uh, can we talk while we run? Or we can sit down with some wine and some roast chicken and wait for them to come and kill us. What do you reckon? You're right. Let's get going. The chateau shouldn't be far now. Let's go. Come on. It's not far to the aqueduct. Seems like we've been through some tough times. You don't say. You forgot to tell us about the Inquisition. You wouldn't have accepted the deal. The one where your friends are rich. But we'll sort it out. I tell my brother that. What's all this? An accident? An Inquisition cart. The rats. There must be things we can salvage from inside. I don't see how we can get past. Oh, Amicia, I have something for you. It's a byproduct of Ignifio. Luminosa. Well, you throw it into a pile of rats and... Anyway, you'll see. Here, take it. Salt, beta, alcohol, and leather. Mix them together. All right. Throw it to the rats. Now, this is an absolutely cracking potion, this Luminosa. Because it explodes all the rats. That's just excellent. And now, right in front of us right here is an alchemist cart. And we will need this for... We need to enter five alchemist carts throughout the game. There's only five. Again, they... they Sort of come a bit later in the chapters but there's basically a whole bunch of items and a workbench in there but we will be getting an achievement for entering all five later on so again it's literally just following what i do in the video because i will be getting all of these later on if there's something that you can upgrade then obviously go ahead and do that but if not that's fine we'll come back to that a bit later on so if you're done in there and you're all good now at the minute we can just carry on we're nearly there. Finally. We're going to find out at last. I'll help you up. Yes. Let's go up the aqueduct. Hugo, it's aqueduct. Oh. Aqueduct. Aqueduct. By the way, that Luminosa po uh, potion we won't be using at all that much. There's only two potions that require you to use leather and fabric but my advice would be not to use them until absolutely necessary because they're kind of the rarer items that we pick up throughout the game and obviously we'll be needing them for upgrading all the slings etc etc so uh the one's luminosa and the other one is uh, i forget for now but um, again any ammo that i craft in the video just sort of copy me don't make too many and you should be good to go. What? Is that it? There's nothing here. Lucas, I... Don't tell me we've done all this for nothing. No, no, no. Laurentius was smarter than that. It's an alchemist's trick. Gold is born from lead. The door shall only reveal itself to the one who has the key. Something like that. Mm. I prefer... Use your eyes before using your mouth. Who's going first? Nice one. Uh, Amicia? Come on then. We've come this far. That's my girl. Oh, wow! Oh. 
not bad. Is that nicely done? So we've ended up in this cave. Uh, there's not that much to do in here, but first of all, we will be heading. Uh, there's a little item on the right here. I think it's just some rocks which you can grab. We need to get this bridge down by using your sling easy and then just heading all the way left to get an item. And then, as you see, the mechanism on the right just there, we'll be using that to get a boat across and then we'll be sailing across. Easy enough, this area. Reaction ferry. A what? A boat that's propelled by a rope. You pull it by hand. Over to you, Melly. Lucas, come and help instead of sleeping. Uh, yes, yes. The water's green. Oh, that's because there are a lot of things living in it. They must be very cold. Once, Father took us to the lake of Tuv, and I slipped and fell in the water. It was so cold it made me cry. <laughs> I would have cried too. Can your boat awaits. Yes, you go get, get in. in. I hope they can swim. Hold on tight. There you go. Whoa. I can't see any fish. Oh, that's because of the monster. What? A monster? Of course. The underground lakes are magical. Huge, ancient monsters hide in their depths. And watch out. They're very hungry. No, they're not. And if there were monsters, we'd see some big bubbles. <laughs> you got me. Mummy used to say that monsters are just those things, those things too. Just those things to which we have never given a name. She told me that too. I would quite like to see a monster, actually. Right, this is where we get off. Oh, it was too quick. I know, but it's someone else's turn now. There might be a whale. <laughs> a whale is big, you know. Yes, but a little one. Why not? A shy whale that doesn't want to show itself. It's shy because it's small, but I'm sure it's pretty. Over to you! We're coming! It's alright. You can let go. Amicia and Hugo might die. I was scared. I forget it. It's all behind us now. But anything that takes my fancy at the castle is mine, all right? Fair enough. What were you saying? Things for grown up ears. All right, let's keep going. Closed. Not for long. Make some room. It's done. Yeah, so as I've said, I've, I've tried not talking over the uh, characters' bits of dialogue and things like that because, you know, some of the stories and everything are very, very interesting in this game. So, you know, I don't want to ruin the experience by... <laughs> Talking crap as I normally do on that. So, um, <laughs> anyway, once you get into this next area, then just he uh, head right to where Lucas was. Sorry, just checking my notes here for a second. But. We will eventually be going right. I don't think I've steered you wrong yet, so, you know, trust me. Um, yeah. Come on, Lucas, let's take a look. Right, Melly. While the boys are daydreaming, we should get going.